what's up you guys it's Remy welcome back to my channel everybody so today I wanted to give some tips to incoming freshmen that are going to college super exciting and if you were anything like me before going into college you're probably freaking out I was absolutely freaking out before I went to college. I am very much a homebody. I love being at home. I love my family. My mom and dad are the best people in the world, so I did not want to leave them and go to college. So I really wish I had a video like this to watch. There are probably plenty, but here are some specific tips that I think are really good to know when going into college. So let's get started. My tip number one is don't be afraid you'll make friends. That was the biggest thing I was scared of going into college. I was like, oh my God, I'm so awkward. I'm so antisocial. No one's gonna like me. Such a lie. You meet so many people when you go to school. It's, it's ridiculous. So having that fear in your brain is, it's useless, honestly. Don't stress yourself out about that. Of all the things to stress yourself out about, not that. You will make friends. I guarantee it. I have made some of the best friends in just my first year at CNU and I know I'm gonna be friends with them for like the rest of my life. I've met incredible people. Tip number two, don't be that person who's stuck in high school. It is so easy to tell which people are still obsessed with starting drama for no reason and being petty just to be petty. No one's gonna like you. No one's gonna wanna be your friend because hey, you're stuck in high school and guess what? You're in college now. Stuff like that, just like little things like boys. Okay, one, if you start hating a person because of a boy, that is literally why. There are thousands of boys on your college campus and you wanna be petty and jealous and start rumors about a person just because a boy doesn't like you and likes another girl? Are you freaking kidding me? Don't do it. Don't be the girl that's stuck in high school. And you know exactly what I mean when I say that. Just don't do it. It's not worth it. It's really not worth it. You just make a whole bunch of enemies doing that and not a whole bunch of friends. Tip number three. Be open and honest with your roommates. Going into school, I picked random and I got the two most amazing roommates, Eva and Mary. Shout out to you guys. I know you watch my videos. Love you guys. Living with Eva and Mary was really amazing. And even though at first it was like, oh, I don't know you, like, and we're living together. This is kind of weird. But Honestly, as time goes on, you just get closer and closer and it's just, it's incredible. But if something is bugging you, you need to talk to your roommate about it right away. You just need to talk to them. I never had any like, anything like that with my roommates. I don't have a lot of pet peeves. My only pet peeve is repeating myself. I hate repeating myself. Anyways, I don't have a lot of pet peeves. So a lot of stuff doesn't really like get on my nerves. So I didn't really have anything to bring up to my roommates but if something is bugging you bring it up early on and bring it up in a casual way don't make it seem like you're attacking the person because you know how are they supposed to know that bugs you if you've never said anything bring it up sooner than later because if you just let it build and build and build you're gonna blow up and explode and it's gonna be a whole big mess when it could have just been a simple thing like hey this is a personal thing i know you don't know this but i don't really like when there you go, it's out in the open, you communicate, you talk about it, boom, done, easy, fixed. Next tip, tip number four, join clubs. This is how I made most of my college friends. Now, I'm a musical theater major, so there isn't really like a drama club or a theater club, it's just kind of like if you're a musical theater major, you do the shows, you audition for the shows, blah, blah, blah. But through theater, I have made the most amazing friends and it's just incredible. And it's really amazing to have something if you have a lot of work in your classes or you're stressed out about something. It's really nice to have a place where you can go do something that you really enjoy and it takes your mind off of it and you're surrounded by people who love the same things that you do. And it makes life just that much easier. So I really, really recommend going to the club fairs and finding a club that you think 
will fit you and is a good match for you and joining and doing it because it makes college a lot more fun. Tip number five, be respectful. Now this kind of sounds like common sense, but I thought I'd put it in here because there's a big difference from being fake and being respectful. You don't have to like everybody. You don't have to be friends with everybody, but you can be respectful to people. Even if you do not like a person, it is okay to just be respectful. You know, you don't have to be their best friend. You don't have to hang out with them. You don't have to blah, 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 blah. But you can at least be respectful. That's my biggest tip. Like you never know when someone's going through a bad day and even if you don't like them, like if they say hi to you and you don't say hi back just because Ugh, I don't like her. That is so trash. Like I don't care how much you hate a person. At least say like hi back or like have a short conversation if they wanna have a conversation. It's really not that hard to be respectful. It's really not. That's a big tip, honestly. Just don't, don't be a bad person. Tip number six is surround yourself with people who make you want to do better. This is a really big one. All the friends that I had in school were motivated, good people. I loved being around them. I could be myself around them. It was completely amazing. I did not surround myself with people who I didn't like to be around or I had to act like a completely different person around. Like, why would you do that? That makes no sense. Just surround yourself with people who make you happy, who you have a good time with, who have high goals, who make you wanna do better. Those are the best type of people to hang out with in college, trust me. And you really need to surround yourself with people who make you want to do better because in college, you're on your own, you know? You don't have your parents telling you, hey, you know, you should do your homework or hey, you know, you should go to class. You don't have that. It's so easy when you're not surrounded by your family to slip into a state where it's like, oh, I'm on my own. I can do this, I can do that. But if you hang out with people who have the same goals as you, who are like you, I wouldn't like, I don't wanna say are like you as a person because no one's gonna be like you, you're unique. But who have the same goals as you, it makes life a lot easier. Tip number seven, you don't need to bring a million clothes. I cannot stress that enough. You don't need to bring a million clothes. That's what I did my first year. And I want to say I wore the same t-shirts like over and over and over again. Know what you wear, know what you look good in, know what you love and bring that. But if it's one of those shirts where it's like, oh, maybe I'll wear that. I'll bring it just in case. You won't wear it. You won't. I'm just telling you now, you won't wear it. But I do suggest bringing like a business kind of outfit, like a blazer or something like that because you never know what events the school might hold or if you get a job interview or something like that. I really recommend having a business attire outfit at school, 10 out of 10. But you do not need to bring your whole closet. Trust me on that, you don't. Just don't do it. Don't pack the shirt, you don't need it. Number eight. Go to class. There is no one at college holding your hand and making you go to class. So I know a lot of people that just straight up didn't go to class and it's kind of like, honey, you're paying for that class. Go to it. It's not that hard. You just go to class. It's simple. It's your obligation. It's your responsibility as a student to go to class. So go. It's not that hard. You gotta do it. And plus, you're not taking half as many classes as you had to go to in high school. So, easy money, go to class. You don't wanna miss things. Professors aren't like high school teachers that'll give you all the notes you miss. You gotta figure out yourself. So why miss it in the first place? It just, I only missed one class because I was dying from the flu. That's it, that's the only reason I ever missed a class. I was sick in my deathbed, basically. So just go to class. Last but not least, tip number nine is do your best. Honestly, that's a life tip as well as a college tip. Just do your best. It's all you can do. If you know you studied your hardest for that exam coming up, if you know you worked your hardest on your paper, then that's all you can do. And if you don't get the grade that you want, then you're like, okay, I tried my best. I didn't get what I wanted. Let me see what mistakes I made and I'll fix them for the future. And then you go on with life. You cannot change the past. 
so don't dwell on it. You have to live in the present. You cannot beat yourself up over things that have already happened. That's a really easy thing to do. But if you do your best, you can't really blame your past self. So just do your best. It makes life easier. You will most likely get the grade you want to get or achieve the thing you want to achieve if you try your best. Like I said earlier, there's no one holding your hand in college. You have to go to class. You have to do your work. You have to study for your exams. No one's going to make you do that. But if you do that and you do your absolute best, you're going to succeed. Trust me, you're going to succeed. Don't doubt yourself. Don't doubt yourself. You got to try your best. Motivational speaker. Mm. All right, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoy and I hope these tips help you out. I definitely would have loved life if I had these tips before I went to college. So I wanted to share them with you guys. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.